off the shores of Florida, Discovery Family Channel, along with the University of Miami Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science, join forces to tag, pull it out, study, That's pupil right is getting here. smaller, and release the sea's most notorious predator, the shark. Come along as we interact with these magnificent creatures to better understand their environment. So the first thing that we do when we capture a shark is we insert a pump, a hose, inside the shark's mouth. Okay. Amazing. That is pumping water straight from the ocean directly into the shark's mouth and over its gills. Have you guys noticed how calm the shark is? That's because when you put the hose in their mouth, it acts like a pacifier and it totally calms them down. Can you see the water going over the gills? We then quickly test the shark's reflex by taking a small syringe of water, squirting it in the shark's eye to see if they react by raising their nictitating membrane. Something like a little protective inner eyelid. We then measure the shark with a tape measure along several points of their body to see how their body shape changes as they grow, gives an idea of their health and also their length and their growth rates. Throughout the process, we continuously put water along the shark's body in order to keep it moist and control its temperature. Guys, this is a, a black nose shark. And you actually see it's got a little smudge in front of the nose. Next, we take a, a tag, which has a unique barcode that we can then identify that animal if we capture it again or if someone else captures it. And we apply that quickly and right under the dorsal fin of the shark. 06. We take a small tissue sample from the fin and we do that where there's no blood supply, no nerve supply, kind of just like this elastic protein that's similar to, to your nail. And what we do is we take a small little fin clip and we then take that, put that in a vial and use it for later processing. Yeah. 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 Give that to Abby. We draw blood from the shark and analyze it on the boat. That's what we want, that's the plasma. Right before release, we also do a second reflex test on the shark. And then we carefully remove the hook, remove the pump, and let it swim off. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have more fascinating facts coming up on Shark Days of Summer.